Um, let's see. We got time for like one more news story, then we'll go ahead and call it a wrap. This is a pretty quick one anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. uh following. Why well, did not write the sentence correctly? Jesus Christ! Read uh, it the way you wrote it. <laughs> Please read, uh, it, the way read you wrote it the way you wrote it. I already mm-hmm. fixed it. No. Fo- Following the previous week's long backlash to their decision to take down digital storefronts for the PS3, PSP, and Vita, PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan took to the PlayStation blog last week to announce... I I did not write any of this right. Jesus Christ. He said, quote, uh, it's clear that we made the wrong decision here. So today I'm happy to announce that we are keeping the PlayStation Store operational for PS3 and PS Vita devices. PSP commerce functionality will retire on July 2nd of 2021. Um, Just just quick note for that. I didn't write. Uh, The Vita is the successor of the PSP anyway. Everything you can do on there, you can do on the Vita. It's fine. Um, Mm -hmm. Ryan goes on to cite the reasons behind the initial decision to close the stores being commerce support challenges and focusing resources on newer devices. And, uh, oh yeah. in a bit of irony, Ryan states that he's glad that PlayStation can keep this piece of history alive for gamers to enjoy. That you can, you, you can't say that. I can't say that. (laughs) No, no, he can't say that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, No one's allowed to say it. (laughs) He's he's literally also, dude on record just like these games look ancient. Why would you want to play them? And it's very clear that um they did not at least he did not think that people cared that much. I I am I mean I, on one hand I feel like oh no we don't you don't want to give power to gamers because gamers are shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's just like this is just such a obtusely stupid position. I think like pretty much everyone here was pretty uniform that this was in no way shape or form a net benefit for for mm-hmm. players um it was erasing history it was erasing ease of access to games that would otherwise be obtusely um expensive to purchase physically um yeah and, and like I, I it stood out in particular to me that the entire appeal of um the the game that's installed on every single copy of uh people's playstation 5's astro um Astro's Playroom, like the entire premise of that game is like, look at our PlayStation history. Your computer's just filled with nostalgia. We are proud of this. And then they turn around and be like, nah, fuck them old games. Um, yeah, very, very happy that they stepped back on this. Um, I don't think you were any. Were you there for any of those episodes, Mesa? Yeah, I was there for the first. Oh, there you go. You, you had the you had the most doom and gloom. Yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was there agreeing with Blaine. I, Sarah, were you there? Yeah, oh. I totally was. I think this is a great step forward for preservation, but it's also, yeah, g- gamers are terrible and we shouldn't become the Snyder Cut people. <laughs> we shouldn't, we shouldn't please, become please, the Snyder Cut people. We please, have please, too much power. Please don't guest on, get on uh, Geeks and Gamers, Sarah. Don't do it. I would burn that show to the ground. Oh, yo! I don't think they. I don't think they like any of us. <laughs> <laughs> I would burn that show to the ground. I would light that match live on air. Just be like, I'm gonna wreck you guys. This is being burnt to the ground. I'm sorry. I'm. I just go down with with the flames, yelling. Jason Momoa was a good fucking uncle, man. Everyone can shut the fuck up. I mean, I, I can think. I can only think of like one person that I had talked to that was just like. Maybe not even necessarily okay with it, but just like, yeah, they should go in and do it. Like they were in agreement with it, and uh, I obviously I'm in disagreement with that. But um, like, I I don't have any. It's like it's not like Sony struggling. Just like, oh shit, dude, we gotta save pennies. We gotta cut down because um, these servers are running. Maybe not necessarily the optimal amount of people are still actively using them to to like outweigh it. Um, Sony has, or I should say PlayStation and their Circa, Sony has had like the most financial success they've ever had in the last couple of years. So they're not struggling to keep up um, mm-hmm. uh, some already shitty existing PS3 services. I don't know if if anyone here has gone back to the PS3 to re-download mm-hmm. anything. That oh, the PS3, the PS3 store PS3 is agents. fucking garbage. It runs so goddamn slow. It is such a Absolutely. pain in the ass to do anything on there. It is it bad. Um, I, I, you know, it was funny. Um, I kind of wish Blaine was here because 
literally the night before they announced this news, she was making a gigantic list of, of stuff that she wanted to grab. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, okay, here's the exact amount of money I need to spend. I'm, here's going to my credit card. And, um, and Sony went, no Blaine, save your, save your pennies. It is okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are here with gift. We shall keep store. I, I, and I'm, I'm curious how much things. of this decision, I'm curious how much of this decision was like swayed by them seeing like a bunch of people panic. I would, I, I don't panic mean that. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't even mean that with like a negative connotation, but like panic buying. They're like, oh, people actually do care. Oh, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 100%. With how fast this turnaround was, 100%. They were like, oh, fuck, people really want this. And if mm-hmm. we get, get, get rid of this, we're going to lose people. And now I say, long live the Vita TV. Well, the, the crappiest part, one, I guess one of the crappiest parts of it to me was that this wasn't like, hey, uh, l- l- let's uh, talk about this. Like in five, let's say like in five years, we got to take this stuff down, but you're going to have five years to do anything and everything you need. Like this was literally, uh, you mm-hmm. got like two months. I was, it's it's like such fucking short notice. I'm like, that's, that's yeah. not great optics. That That's not cool. So, but, so uh, I have- oh, oh, yeah, go ahead, Kyle. I have a second conspiracy theory of the night. Oh, All right. Does it involve Jim Ryan on certain websites? No, oh, no. no. Well, that's a different. I mean, probably does happen, but unrelated. <laughs> and 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 this one is realistically just probably corporate incompetence. This whole story. But there's a part of me that goes, man. What if they never had any intention of bringing this down? But they knew that the second they said we're bringing it down, so many people were going to rush to buy everything they hadn't bought yet. And then they could go, oh, we realized we messed up. We're taking this back. Look at us doing a good thing and still keeping all the money you spent on us. Thank you. Yeah, I I mean, I would like to see, like, sales numbers for stuff in between them and I was like, hey, it's going down. Yeah, I, I'm always super cynical about things like that, which is not always a good thing, but I don't know. I With something like that, I go, it, it is more likely that they were just incompetent and it's, I mean, it's pretty clear that Jim Ryan just doesn't care about and doesn't understand why people care about old games. Mm-hmm. So his philosophy was just kind of like, yeah, well, we'll nobody's going to miss them, so let's just get rid of them because I don't want to have to ever care about them. Not because it costs too much money to deal with but just because i don't even want to have to see it existing in our corporate structure but i, I and then you know realizing hey so we shouldn't but i know a lot of people who were going and buying things and they were buying vita games they were buying ps3 games and they were doing stuff and then when it happened they were pretty mad because they're mm-hmm. like well why did i just spend all that money when that was kind of <laughs> that was kind of pointless like it's all it's yeah. all back even- like that even uh, Arcade Main slash uh, Darkwing Dad in here says uh, he loaded up on PSN cards and bought about fifty dollars worth of stuff, like specifically because of this. And yeah, it, and that- it, it it just screams to me just like how out of like it, it it obviously extends to just to more than just Jim Ryan, like whoever's on whatever board making these decisions. It's just like how out of touch do you have to be with your fan base to think that this is just gonna slide? It's I mean, well, I mean, pe- people bring up like the PS3 era arrogance of Sony, just like you're going to work two jobs in order to buy our console. Um, and then obviously the PS4, they catered more like strictly to games. Um, it, it, they kind of flip flopped with Microsoft. There's the whole freaking Xbox one um, always online debacle with Don Matrick back in 2013. You but, always have to have it on the Internet. Ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but we're deaf. I think uh if there's any indicator that this is definitely an era of arrogant Sony again, I think this is probably maybe the tip of the iceberg for it. Mm-hmm. And, and I think it's 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 not even unique to Sony. I think like the big three, right? Sony, Microsoft, and and Nintendo. I mean, maybe not Microsoft recently, but as recently as within the last decade, all, all three of these these companies have made some really boneheaded decisions that make no sense. Nintendo still hasn't figured out a way to allow people to play online with each other in a way that makes sense even they, though it's they killed mario too well that's you know i, I might agree <laughs> with that one all right um, um 
very quickly bring I mean, up that people say the PlayStation 3 was a bad console, but the PlayStation 3 gave us PlayStation Home, and Sony just re-upped the trademark rights for PlayStation Home, and I am very, very excited by this news. You know, that reminds me... Like of I'm sorry, go ahead, Mesa. I was going to say, my guess is that they're probably going to reuse PlayStation Home for PSVR. I would lose my collective shit. I want PlayStation Home back so bad. <laughs> and for anyone who tells me it was stupid, you can shut the fuck up, because PlayStation Home was cool. And I spent too much money on my avatar <laughs> clothes. I had 13 apartments, <laughs> and I had so much furniture in that damn game. I you never even touched alone. it. <laughs> PlayStation Home was the coolest. It was like Second Life, but you had a PlayStation avatar and you could dress them up as characters. You could show off your trophies and you could like have apartments that were based off of video games. And so I had like a, I had Assassin's Creed 2 apartment that was just like an Italy based apartment. And it was like the dumbest fucking thing ever, but it was so cool. And they referenced PlayStation Home in Astro's play Playroom. And just two days ago, Sony re-upped the trademark for PlayStation Home. And I am losing my mind. Yeah. I, I will oh, say, as, as, as cool as the PlayStation 5 is, like, I, I don't own a Series X. But uh, I think it's safe to say the PlayStation 5 is a bad console because you can't play Dead Space on it. This is this is wrong. I mean, <laughs> it's making good points. I need I, mean, I need I need a refute. I need a refute. The series, um, X, yeah, like, the series X is a bad console because you cannot play Miles Morales on it or Astros mm. or Ratchet and Clank when it comes out. Yeah, it's like, no offense to my Xbox, but I bought it as another Gears machine, and but, I'm, I'm halfway through. Uh, tactics and it's okay gabe is gabe is cool but i'm sitting here in my corner like so when am i getting gear six that's the only reason i bought this fucking console was <laughs> for the inevitable please yeah i just think like is it is it too away. effective if people wait is it good or no I'm, I'm sorry let me reword that is it are you too effective or not effective enough if people can't read your shit post correctly Uh, two. Too effective? Yeah, too effective, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. My, my, also, the first Dead Space sucks. Dead Space 2 is better. Powerful. That's, um, that is a bad opinion, but I will not um, let it slide in the slightest. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, right, but like, the, you can, like, uh, the way, like, even Sony's, like, starting to neglect a lot of its Japanese, like, uh, like I, leanings and like the fact that that they had this own they had their a team literally called J japan studio <laughs> but the heads left because they weren't doing anything uh, i think i think um they, they think, like they reconsolidated everything yeah. uh it's like into other parts of the company mm -hmm. I, we, i've had a new story about this in the notes for forever yeah. we just haven't gotten just, to it but like everything's like being funneled into um Team Asobi, the the team behind uh, Astro, mm -hmm. Astro, yeah. It just seems like I don't know. I, I, I think I, PlayStation I, is like very blatantly an American facing company at this point. Like their big, yes. their biggest studios are American studios, mm -hmm. and that's that's where they're putting their marketing. That's where they're putting their money. Well, which I, I mean. And I, I enjoy JRPGs, so there's a part of me that's like, man, well, that sucks because I wish they'd be putting more into that. But there's the other part of me where like, okay, I get it because God of War 2 is going to sell a hell of a lot more than Near Replicant is going to mm -hmm. sell, right? N not Doesn't mean Replicant's a bad game. Doesn't mean it's not worth doing it. But like one is, is going to sell a lot more. And so they're just going like, okay, here's what's going to sell more. Here's what we're going to do. I, I don't always think that, I don't think that's the right call. But again, that's why I'm not running a place like that because their job is purely just to find a way to make the most money and not provide the best things for everybody which is which is why like i we mentioned we, we talked about microsoft like being really shitty for a while lately they've been the exact opposite which has been weird mm -hmm. and i'm waiting for the monkey's paw that we're inevitably gonna get <laughs> like something's gonna happen like they're game gonna pass. find out like game like, pass 50 dollars a month well no it's gonna be like if you subscribe to game pass they also legally own your left kidney like there's gonna be there's there's gonna be 
because there's 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 just it, it's it's very hard to believe that a company could just be like, yeah, no, we just want to make it easier for people to play more games. I guess it's it when it's a company like Microsoft that has a bunch of money and does things other than just uh, Xbox and they're the most the bulk of their money comes from other things as well. So maybe maybe that's part of why it's a little easier for them. But the the sudden pro consumer pro people who enjoy playing video games moves from Microsoft seemed really out of place. And you see the things kind of more from Nintendo and Sony where it's like, hey, you have really good games. Your games are great. All of your other stuff is really frustrating because it shouldn't be this complicated. Why? Why on a switch can I not just hop on and connect with uh, and play with other people? Why on PlayStation are you going to take down the stores from older consoles and then decide that you want to bring them back up later? And, and all and you know, it's for a lot of them. It's like the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. So Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, this is, I did not read, I don't read user agreements. Mostly, like, <laughs> I, I, Cause I never agree with them. This is a user I, that never agrees. No, I just, I blindly agree with anything. I just, I, I can't read. So I just, I anything th- in front of me, I'm just like, sure. Yeah. yeah whatever you want. Yeah. It's okay. I think I'm um, even generally good to go back to the, um, the contrast of, I guess, uh, Sony's arrogance versus Microsoft, even the position they were in before, uh, back in 2013 with the launch of the Xbox One under um, Don Matrick, uh, it, we kind of need these pendulums to constantly swing back because ultimately it's a it it competition is always good. You don't want like one clear uh, winner because then they're not incentivized to ultimately to ultimately um, make better products for their consumers. Um, so I don't think anyone should like be celebrating Sony doing these things but at the same time like like praise microsoft for what they're doing but if they try to if they try to get a one up on you 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 shouldn't just cave into it either like when they try doing the whole let's jack up the price on xbox live gold because they're they're very obviously trying to herd people into game pass as Mm -hmm. the new model and and then just entirely get rid of gold but not everyone's willing to um to migrate to that quite yet so hold each company accountable as they do stuff, I guess. I mean, I, how look at, Oh, I was going to say that. Like how look at the, um, look, look at the, um, the, the, um, the, uh, uh what the, the, the financing versions of the, the new Xboxes where oh, the, like, um, if you finance it, um, if you look at how much, bo- what you get from that, it, uh, it comes out being cheaper. Because they want you on the platform, they want you with a Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think at the end of the day, honestly, and this is one of the rare moments where I'm not super cynical. I think at the end of the day, Microsoft's moves win out and kind of become the norm. And I think the other, I think we see, especially Sony. I don't know if Nintendo will adapt, or, or at least definitely will do it as quickly because they don't need to because they're they're a lot more unique. But I think Sony's and they're already talking about finding a way to kind of compete with Game Pass, right? Because PlayStation now does not compete with Game Pass. It's just I, I, I did like a, a two week trial of it recently just to try it. It's like this is this is terrible, but I love Game Pass. Clearly, they're going to have to do things to try to mimic that because they're starting to lose out. The fact that every first party Xbox game comes out on Game Pass at launch on PC and on console and everybody can play it. And like, that's if you would have, would have told me that two years ago, I would have told you that you were ridiculous. Like there's no way they would ever do that. And I think Sony's not going to be able to see they go that nah, we're not going to change anything. You're going to pay $60 for our game and you're going to like it or you're just not going to play it because I think people are going to go, okay, fine. Then I'll just play it in a year when it's $15, you know, uh, on sale or I can I can find it used that somebody's selling for for five bucks because they want to get rid of it. So I think I think as long as I think Microsoft is looking at it going if sure we can afford to do this and they're gonna other people are gonna have to change with us and I, I hope I hope that's what we see. I, I think even um for something that you touched upon there it's just like it's that clear contrast between 
Microsoft given this extremely consumer friendly way to get into games. It's it's uh, ten or fifteen dollars a month, depending if you want to play online, whatever. Um, like yeah, it's extremely consumer friendly. Then you look at Sony, where Returnal's coming up, and uh, if you want to play Returnal, you don't have a cheap and convenient way to play. Like it's not just a full price sixty dollar game. That's seventy dollars. PlayStation's jacking up the price on all their um triple a exclusives so it, it's it's like freaking night and day and ultimately i think sony's just gonna have to adapt to getting playstation now up to par and like i do i do want to say like it has gotten better they do have a bit more of a selection on games like i know like the evil thin 2 a game i've been streaming it was on there and it's like oh yeah I, I could buy evil thin 2 on i guess the ps4 version for 20 bucks or you can get it as ps now i forget what the pricing model is but they so they're they're supporting it but they don't really care about as much they don't advertise it they're not getting big games day one they're not putting their own games necessarily even on there it's (laughs) it's it's a it's a poor man's game pass people are going to spend 70 60 dollars that's what people seem to forget about this is that people will spend that money Sony has that background to them, has that reputation to them, where you know if it's a Sony Studios or if it's a PlayStation Studios game, let it be Santa 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 Monica, let it be San San Diego, let it be their Japanese in-house studios, you know it's gonna be a solid experience. You know it's gonna be hell, it's not gonna be anything less than a great experience. And with a pedigree like that, and I've always said this. I don't think they need to worry that they're going to price their games at 70 bucks. People are still going to buy them. God of War Ragnarok is going to be $70 at launch, and that's going to be the best, like, until Call of Duty comes out, whatever Call of Duty comes out that that year, that's going to be the best-selling game of, of the year. I have literally placed my right kidney on it that that literally oh, no. Sony's going to price it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Sony's going to price Ragnarok at $70. Everyone's going to still buy it. And you can say that you're not going to, but then you're going to see the gameplay preview of it. You're going to see all the stuff that you wanted to see in the first God of God of War, and you're going to spend $70 on it. Hell, I'm going to shell out 70 bucks Because I know if I don't and I wait, that shit's going to get spoiled. And Sony knows that too. And it's yeah. like, I'm not being rude here. I'm just like stating the absolute obvious. Like people are going to spend seventy dollars on this, and people may go around on Twitter and be like, "Oh, I'm not going to." You will, you will shell out. Oh, pe- people absolutely are, and like, admittedly, like, I'm I, if a game is worth the price to me, I'm going to buy it. And mm-hmm. admittedly, um, so Sony's first party output like strongly appeals to my own personal taste. But just, mm-hmm. just, just, just even too. for the end of the day, for like what's consumer friendly, um, PlayStation's not winning that fight in the slightest. Yeah. I, I, I would love to see something. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I mean, I would just say I think they made that with getting the PS5 and the Xbox Series X was something harder shit to do last year, and we were in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Didn't yeah. stop me and Mesa from going to Target. Didn't stop me no, from getting no. both. I would, I, I would love to see them do some sort of a, because I understand they're not gonna, they're not gonna follow the Xbox. Part of the reason that Microsoft could put their first party games on Game Pass Day 1 is because they're not as mm. um... They're, right, they're not. They're they're not. I don't want to say they're not as good as the commodities games because I because I don't mean it that way. But they mm-hmm. there's just a, a the, there's a bigger kind of hype between a lot of these behind a lot of these these Sony first party games. But if they did some sort of like a kind of like what the Disney Plus model has been, which is like, hey, you pay for this subscription where at some point you get access to everything, but if you want to to play it when it first comes out, you pay an additional you know thirty bucks. And you get it, you know, six months early. Otherwise, you have to wait six months to play it. Something, something along those lines, where they're still making a, g- a good amount of money. And I think they're getting people. To do it. I'd love to see something like that because I think that would be nice. But yeah, people, people are gonna pay seventy bucks, a- and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Especially if you're making good games, I don't think there's anything wrong with paying more for games. I have an issue with paying more for games that that are lacking content and lacking things. But that's a that's a complete that's not an issue Sony first party games have have had, so mm-hmm. I don't find yeah. that to be an issue. Microsoft well, chilling out that Windows Ten money. <laughs> but at the same time, like 
like Game Pass gives Microsoft such freedom to be able to greenlit kind of whatever they want because they know someone will play it because it's on Game Pass. When like Sony, you have to make something that you think people will buy, you know? Um, uh, um, one of my favorite games of all time, Outer Worlds, uh, sorry, Outer Wilds, uh, I got to play because it was on Game Pass. I heard someone say, hey, you should play this game. And I said, cool, I'm going to play that because I have Game Pass. And then, you know, you, you, unfortunately, you just don't have that experience on PlayStation. And uh, it's, it's really lacking. Yeah. Well, and one of the other things we saw, and they, we saw this with Forza when it went on Steam, and people were buying it for full price, despite the fact that it's on Game Pass. I think you would see something similar with Sony. If you had these games mm-hmm. accessible through mm-hmm. through their version mm-hmm. of Game Pass, I think people would still buy yeah. a lot of yeah. those games. As, as a yeah, slight probably- segue to that, um, PC users are such a weird barometer because they can't even be bothered to to open a game from a different app. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> fucking weird. I don't understand it, honestly. It's all desktop icons. Like, I already got Origin. I already got Uplay. What, what's another one? The <laughs> other one's easier. Because that's how you can play Kingdom Hearts. It's, it's, it's easier. Because the Epic Games just gets out my way. I start up the game and it goes, all right, have fun. And then it just leaves. Like, <laughs> Origin, you play. They got to stick around. They got to talk to me. Like, Here's I'm just. Play points. I'm just trying to sit here and have fun. All right. And at least, <laughs> uh, at least Epic has the decency to respect my time and not bog me down with garbage. Plus, free games every week is kind of nice. That too, yeah, it's very nice. My Epic library is huge, and I've only paid for three of those games. Because Epic's like, here you go. And I'm like, thanks. I forgot how much I love Aggressive Mesa. Oh, wait, no. No, I only bought one. Yeah, I only bought one. Because it's just it's just so frustrating to see these people like, oh, it's on Epic, never mind. And it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you can, you can just, just add it to Steam. <laughs> like, calm down. Look past yourself. <laughs> Look in the it's, mirror. For bigger it's, problems. It's, it's incredibly dumb because also people fail to realize that Epic has a better monetization value for developers. So, mm-hmm. like, if you buy it off Epic, developers are getting more of the cost. And, and then, that's why, honestly, I never buy anything on Steam any any anymore. Like if it's also on Epic Games, I will buy it on Epic Games to give the developers and, more of a more of a profit. And then they'll go, nah, not I'm not doing that on Epic Games, and then go buy it on PlayStation. Like, come on, guy. Let's be real. I mean, to be fair, Origin Origin sucks. I I have constantly having issues where just like I try Origin. to open it and it just just does not want to work whatsoever Gross. i'm just like i i've had to call customer service like five separate fucking <laughs> times just to get origin to open i'm like come on i just want to play titanfall 2 i have a friend who has four you play accounts oh geez. because it was easier to make a new you play account than to find the password for the old one use a password manager <laughs> <laughs> and two factor no, authentication. It, it's it's so much easier if you just use the same password for everything. Then you'll never forget it. <laughs> Rar, if you ever listen to this, please don't kill me. I'm sorry. I'm I'm literally gonna clip that. <laughs> See the best part is if you use numbers. It doesn't matter what numbers you choose because it's impossible to figure out. <laughs> Rar is gonna be rolling in his grave. I can already feel his like, his anger and he hasn't even heard it yet. I I'm, I'm going to DM this too. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Forgive uh, me. Um with that I think that's going to go and do the show. Um I want to go and thank uh, Kyle for coming on. It, it's been a blast having you on, man. Absolutely. It was so much fun. Thank you for having me. So is there any way I can like hang out with Tony Hawk too? I want to hang out with Tony Hawk again. I I was bummed that like I only ever got to do something like that once. That was something like I want to do something like that again, and I never will. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, thanks for everyone for coming on. Thanks mm-hmm. everyone for watching. Um, please yeah. go ahead and support everyone. Their ads are on mm-hmm. screen. Everyone kind of does their own thing and whatnot. Um, my next what day is it? Sunday. I think yep. 
I th- I forgot like my stream schedule for this week. I think I'm streaming Wednesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. PST. Uh, we're gonna be still doing the Evil Within two, and oh, I forgot. Uh, with it was it in two or three weeks? I am going to Disneyland uh, with my partner for three days. So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do scheduling for my usual content, like my usual daily content. Um, the reason why I had to stop doing. Uh, scheduling ahead of time is because there's some clashes with pay- with Patreon where if I give early access to content, I can't have it scheduled. It has to be unlisted, which means I have to later manually trick. It's a it's a big mess, but as it gets closer, I'll decide um, whether it's going to be early for everybody or I, I, I'll, fu- I'll figure it out. I haven't thought about it. Too Are much. you going to do an IRL stream? I Oh yeah, dude, we're gonna do it right on Space Mountain. I don't think it's even called Space Mountain anymore. It's like it's totally just like no, Star Wars. It is. It's called Okay. Space Mountain. Stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like that's Space Mountain's too iconic to. Yeah, <laughs> to if they kill. Name Space Mountain, people would fucking riot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might. Um, I might. Um, I was supposed to go to Disneyland last um last May, and obviously that didn't happen because the world decided to end and personally ruined my plans. Oh, um, I was going to be in Europe. (laughs) (laughs) So I I had renewed my annual pass to Disney World because I'm about 15 minutes away from from that here uh, in Florida. So so I had renewed the pass on March 8th of last year. Oh, wow. Did they at least Mm. refund you? Yeah, I was able to cancel it when they, they started doing that. Like towards the end of the month, they started letting people do that, so I was able to do that, which was nice. But I had literally just done, and like I went because I went to ride <laughs> Rise of Resistance with a buddy of mine. Um, it was like a third time going, and it was super fun. And I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna, we were talking about how like we're gonna go do this all summer because it's you know it works with our schedules. It's gonna be so cool." And then I haven't been back since. How how convenient has that been? Literally living like fifteen minutes away from it. It's it's so great. I and I know a lot of people who work there, like just because I've grown up in the area, so it's it's nice, you know. Sometimes it'd be like, "Hey, you wanna, wanna get me in today?" So it's, it's <laughs> you should run an out. Airbnb or something. <laughs> um, sure I, get I do. Trouble. I too like Disney. <laughs> nice, but um, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a fun time. Um, obviously, um, so me and my partner are vac- fully vaccinated. We're still gonna have to wear masks or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, they're they're limiting it strictly to Californian residents, and then obviously there's still everything that's going on. But hey, shorter lines, and uh, we'll be safe <sighs> doing it. So I'm excited. That's pretty good. That'll be awesome. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. Uh, I have not seen the Mortal Kombat movie yet. I've heard it is I pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's pretty good sheets. Pretty good gore. Um, I I could watch it on uh, HBO Max. I, I just haven't. Uh, going to the movie theater Tuesday because it's going to be the first time I've been able to see something in movie uh, theater in well, over I a don't year. See it when you can watch it for free, I want I'll, that movie theater experience. I, I, I want that movie. I think I want to save that for Spider Man. I think I want to save that for Spider Man. I I want that movie theater popcorn so fucking bad. Go and microwave buy it and then come come home. It's that it's that simple. Microwave popcorn is We're not the same. The I, don't pandemic, care, I don't care. I don't care if it's trust the theater for two years. I I I don't care if it says movie theater style popcorn. It's not the fucking same. Yeah, I don't care from if movie still theaters. in the middle of pandemic and I am vaccinated. I'm not going to a theater for for you, the next two years. You got the baby boo boo vaccination though. I got the big boy vaccination. I'm still vaxxed, bitch. Fifty <laughs> Wait, versus ninety five. What did you get? I got Johnson. the Johnson Johnson back in March. Hell yeah, me too. Hey! <laughs> Pfizer, baby. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, well, unfortunately, see. when the vaccine wars start, as a member of the Pfizer clan, we're gonna have to, you know, yeah. I might be able to look mm-hmm. the other way if you guys, if you guys can kind of keep it on the down low, but. If not, <laughs> you know, I got I got I get a blood, rules to follow. Blood clot. I'm safe. Yeah, mm-hmm. you <laughs> yeah, I'm not safe. one of the one of the million. Yeah, I'm not one of the million. I'm good. God, that Come on, Macy, you need so that stupid. you need that extra forty five percent. All hey man, all I'm saying is our vaccine was the only one tested against variants and showed to be effective. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> 
um with that uh damn that 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 fucking sign off got so goddamn derailed <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah everyone's ads yep. are on screen it'll Woo. be in the descriptions go and support everyone stream yeah, and support, on Wednesday. support your locals yes play danganronpa bye-bye play, play near please bye and play rose <laughs>